What's up, chat? <laughs> Sorry for the delay. Blame it on Nedbank. I'm fuming this morning. Um, let's do some breakdowns quickly. So yesterday we had ADP, we had unemployment claims, we had final services, PMR. Overall, good numbers for the dollar yesterday. And we had quite a nice move here to the downside. We do have NFP later today. We've seen oftentimes with high impact news later in the day, in the morning, we can see some ranging. All right, but let's see if we can continue this bearish sentiment here. Um, below 18.32, we do have a nice clean range down to 18.26. Weekly also no bottom wick. I would anticipate this weekly candle to come and create a bottom wick today. Daily. Alright. Bearish yesterday. Bearish engulfing candle. If we flip bearish on this current daily candle. I do believe that we could come down and fill this wick here. And then that will basically be us taking advantage of this. 30 minute range so that makes a lot of sense <clears throat> other than that like i say we do just need to be aware that we have nfp later so we'll have to just see how how volume comes in this morning for how we've got a support here um this current four hour candle that just closed, we are still respecting this previous area here on the four hour. You can see on the four hour, there's a lot of rejections and we found support at 1838. So we broke that level, we've come up retested. We've got a rejection here on the previous four hour candle. Bars, I'm not too not too keen on buys for now. Yeah, you do have clean traffic basically up to 1845. For for buys above 1840, it's just yeah, the way everything is lining up, I would rather I'd rather stay out of these bars. And wait for the cells to set up. GJ. GJ on the daily, we closed bearish yesterday, all right. Um, but overall, I believe we are still very bullish here. Four hour, we have closed back above 159. So kind of just a little bit of a fake out there. Of that key area at 159. We look we look pretty good here to drive up full this week for the rest of the range um, but i think it will be sensible to just wait at this point for a break above resistance here
All right, so yeah, all I'm waiting for is a break above 160 for buys here on GJ. Gold, on the other hand, sells below 1832. Are looking good to me. Could even potentially get souls here below 1836. And then just keep in mind the weekly candle having no bottom wick. I'm anticipating us to come down into 1823, 790 sometime today. I think there's a very high probability that could happen. Just like yesterday, um, we were anticipating a top wick to be formed on the daily that eventually happened not really in the fashion I was expecting we had a further pullback um, I think this was also a result of ADP and some USD news so we had that spark up created the top week on the daily and then we came down and have now formed a support here on the four hours so still looking to drive up here on GJ and then the idea is the same here with gold on the weekly anticipating a bottom wick to be formed so we'll see if we can take advantage of that with sales here
as the cars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, guys. Yo, Jared. Well done, bro. <laughs> it seems like your Afrikaans is improving. Yes, man, I got there. Yammer? I can't even hear what you're saying. You're just saying that, but I'm not understanding. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, like what you said. Yeah, GJ here may worst pain. Yeah, and yeah, I go okay. Oh no, so much. What's up, Con? How are you doing? <laughs> yeah, good on you. Um, we were speaking Afrikaans and then, like, like no, we were like really speaking Afrikaans to each other. And then, we were, like, if Con joins, we have to speak English now. And then, we were, like, nah. We Surely Jared was not speaking Afrikaans. He you was hoying it. He was like, forcing it. What? I did. I, I can't speak Afrikaans. We, we are learning languages in the morning, man. Huh? In this school, you don't understand this assignment. Hmm? I thought Jared was also equally as bad as I was at Afrikaans. No, pretty good. Jared doesn't talk any. Shit, so it's yeah. just me. Yeah. Jared loves it. Oh damn. <laughs> the cashiers are even Afrikaans. They were Jared loves, bro. Teacher hmm? attendance, cashiers, everyone. Everyone Afrikaans, dude. Like you have to be able to understand it. <laughs> Yeah, but where you guys are from, it's proper English. Jeepers, creepers. Yeah, oh, uh, yeah it is kind <clears> of it. That's mostly English. But Yo, like, at school, like, most of the schools here, everyone is terrible at Afrikaans. I the only Afrikaans in our school, and then there's only, a, there's two primary schools for Afrikaans. Bro, in it's my, in my grade, there were only, like, two people who could actually speak Afrikaans. At my school. Why is Nahoon still at school, bro? Eh? Nahoon still at school. I actually don't know. Which school were you guys in? I was in Grens and Connor was in Salborn. Salborn, hello. Hello. Uh, Do you know it? Uh, <laughs> yeah, we played. Uh, when I was at school, we used to uh, play cricket against you guys quite often. Why do you oh, think? Yeah. Can't you see it? Can't you see the Salborn boy in him being all disciplined with his trading and stuff? From Salborn. Bro, what? What does that have to do with Salborn? We played, we played a lot against um, Salborn, Grey PE. Um, what school were you in? I was in uh, Northern Cape High. Sorry about that, eh? Hey? Eh? Sorry about <laughs> that. What the why, why do you mean sorry about that, bro? <laughs> Yo, that's rude, bro. In the yeah. in the year in the year that I was matric, we okay. actually we actually beat Grey PE, Salborn, Grey Bloom, and uh, King Edward in Joburg in cricket. They were scared of you guys. Right? Yeah, no, we were yeah. we didn't play with a cricket ball. We played with rocks. Yeah, exactly. Yes. And why do some of these students have face tattoos? <laughs> we had two guys in our team that didn't have front teeth. <laughs> <My keyboard. laughs> Makes sense, eh? oh. Okana, what bar was that, John? Oh, you got a bar right there. No, it's my keyboard, Oaks. It's, oh, it's, oh, it's dead, but when oh, I plug oh, in the charger, it's not working. So I have to unplug the charger when I want it up. And it's stacking, like the battery's stacking, still dead. So stacking it's... buys. Yeah. Buys. Um, but God, I feel like it's time for a new keyboard, dude. No, bro, this, what do you mean? This keyboard is proper, bro. This is a razor. This thing was like more than my laptop. No, Jared, hate, Jared hates Jared hates on his uh, tech. 
<laughs> Bro, this thing is proper. Okay, the lights are off because the battery's dead, but it's wireless, <laughs> razor. The most expensive keyboard I've ever heard of. Yo, there's my Peace. there's my golf R in the background there. Yo, no, dude. Yes, that guy's fighting this morning. <laughs> Coming fast. <laughs> <laughs> But I'll close the windows now. I see Connor is looking at the golfs there after stream in the mornings. Yeah, I just need to get approved for finance. You're gonna buy a golf or? Yeah. I think so, eh? Yo, after like, uh... after being in it, yo. It's it's pretty nice, I won't lie. No, they're good cars. Can't go wrong with a Volkswagen. Mm-hmm. How about this? Are we back to zero pips for the week? Yeah, by the way, Connor, uh, I don't know if you've got us on stream because my oh, YouTube's muted. So just make sure you, people don't think you're cooked in the head again. Yeah, uh, I took. I will double check. I took. The gold bar. Yeah, no. Chat, you can hear the guys in Discord, right? Or David. Oh no, they can, they can. I just listen on YouTube. Okay, well. Um Yesterday I took two um trades on gold that both got deleted because they didn't get full in time. Hey oh, Jared, right, that that sell on 1845, bro. Jeez. Yo. I'll stop on 1850.4, bro. And then I deleted it because I, I left my house. Just have a yeah, look here. I, I took that. I sent that signal. Literally. As I was about to get in, gold just reversed all the way. And then just after three, I messaged Con and said, oh, dude, it just gold is acting up. I don't think I'm going to get involved. Because as I was about to get in, it just skyrocketed like... What was it? Um, 32 pips or something. And then I was like, oh, you know what? I'm not going to fight the support. It's already getting pretty late. Yo, dude, I checked back half an hour later. Trade played out beautifully. I was like, Crash man. down. It's like, man. <laughs> Did you take it, Con? I took... Um, I took Celsius at 1843 after the news. Because I saw news was coming out positive for the dollar. And then I saw we had broken below 18.45. So I was like, perfect. Everything is lining up. This is solid. We're going to 18.36. Anyway, I get in. And then, yeah, I I kind of bitched out. Oh, yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Nah, because I obviously I had a rough morning. And then I took took more GJ bars later on. And those were the ones that actually played out. Um, and then yeah, the gold sells. At that point, I was like, I was just fried, so I I didn't end up holding. Pretty bleak. I'm sure we can um, see it here. Um, by the way, kind of forget about the pips. Just put percent earned. People will you know what that is with percent rather than pips. You will get forked. <laughs> Oh nah, imagine you just put the center, people will get fucked. Oh shit, yeah, I suppose. Eh? So mm-hmm. check here, yeah, these are my cells. Yeah. Oh, T- 10 yeah. pips, and then it drops. 170 That's pips. That's right, eh? <laughs> Yo. Nah, anyway, but uh, I knew that I exited there too early. Like that that was an emotional exit. I I saw it retrace like a couple pips and I was like, nah no, fuck I'm out. It was, the, it was the fourth trade, that's why. Yeah. So, it it was also that I knew that I was I was playing I around. Even though it was a I knew that it was a very high probability. We had that set up below eighteen forty five and like I say, news was now coming on positive for dollar. It just made perfect sense to come down to at least eighteen forty and then 1836 so that's why the trade was taken but yeah emotionally i was just fried for the day or psychologically Dude, 
I was also like over it. When when I sent you that message, I was like, dude, two orders that just didn't get filled. And then when I'm looking for the soul, then it literally goes back 32 pips. I was like, you know what, there's no there's no ways I'm gonna stick around and just keep on like shooting yeah. into the bucket. You know, yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. like your fourth trade, you question everything. Like a few yeah. put draw back, and then you're like, okay, it's my fourth trade. Is this emotional? Is this this? Yeah. Is this this? And then... Yeah, yeah exactly you get like into that. like a you get into a weird zone after like the third or fourth trade, and you just <laughs> you too you too like tunnel vision. You stop yeah. really taking everything into account. I don't know. I know what you're talking about, bro. Like you don't need to explain it to you, but all understand it but it's difficult to explain the top of all but you feel it yeah you yeah. feel it it's like that you know when you it's it's literally moving over from like having a lack of beer to shooters <laughs> you know it's just gonna go down your from there yeah <laughs> literally yeah the yeah, lights are just gonna I get i don't understand that yeah. don't think we are no god it's like going from smoking a bong to smoking a crack pop <laughs> <laughs> just this army let's do it why are you waiting <laughs> i'm raving i'm raving <laughs> fucking do the first one the second one it's like smoking okay. a, it's like going from a bong to a dab <laughs> i'm not gonna lie i don't know what a dab is <laughs> don't you know a dab bro no, no, you okay. did see basically like you smoke that yeah. like have you seen that the only way i can explain it it looks like wax almost like a gold yeah. brown <laughs> Yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's just about it. I thought it looks like you're smoking crap, crack, bro, because you have to you have to eat up the bowl, but it's like a blowtorch, and then you yeah. drop the shit. <laughs> it looks like you're smoking crack. It's just pure THC. Yeah, I thought a dab was a sick ass dance move, eh? <laughs> but no. Oh god. Hey, Connor. Yeah. Hello, good morning. What now? I wanted to say, let's go do driving range, but I'm busy. No way. Wow, that was a good way of putting it, Nico. Let's I'm go to the driving train. range, but I'm busy today. It's <laughs> <laughs> alarm, but he still asked what it was about, so I still told him. Okay. Yeah. I was keen to just because I looked up and I saw the clubs, and then I thought to ask about it. No, no, I get you. Yeah, I'm I'm keen to go to the range. I won't lie, because I need to... Just one more before it's done. Yeah, I need to warm up. Oh, my dad was swinging in the yard yesterday. It looks like he's not... I can say I'm not going to come. Is it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. His yeah. finger's broken, though, bro, so we might have a chance. Shit, what happened? They were in the boat. I showed you must have bought a boat. Oh, yeah. So, Oh my Jesus, fuck. What? My laptop just broke. Just broke? Yo, the whole screen broke. was fucked. I was completely... What do you, what do you mean? No, no. <laughs> bro, what is Nico doing while he's on stream? <laughs> but I'm going to punch it now. I'm telling you that. No, you, you, know, you know what probably messed it up is load shedding, dude. Because don't you leave your laptop plugged in? on my TV and the other screen is still fine but on my laptop's whole fucking screen's like that I can see still but it's like whole black and purple shit that's on my border sink broken <laughs> more listening <laughs> yeah hey, I'm on top chat yeah oh shit I'm also here yeah, it always resets to top chat how does that happen mm. without me even touching it though bro mm. oh you know mm. what bro do you fucking know what what? Load shedding just hits. Jesus fuck. Oh, uh, that's why. It's very weird, but my live chat and top chat are the exact same, man. Eh? No, bro, it looks the exact same, but I'm it's not. Oh, yeah. Some messages. Mine are for now as well, but some messages are. Some messages don't come up on top chat. Yeah. That's weird. But yesterday it was so weird. We had load shedding for like 45 minutes. Because you know, most it's normally two hours. 
Yeah, it's come seems to be getting their stuff together. No, bro, don't get your hopes up, eh? Yes, they did. Yes, this low chilling really needs to go away, dude. It's not low chilling, bro. Yeah, bro, if you actually see me, just you just understand that I hit something. <laughs> oh, no, the kid needs to do that, eh? Pretty fucking broken, what's the difference? <laughs> Daddy, maybe you can take it into a laptop shop and then repair it quick, quick. Eh? I'm gonna break this thing, I need a new one. When you're gonna go check Instagram, eh? What do you find on Instagram? <laughs> no, I put a story up of, of you, man. <laughs> of you? Of you. Oh, I know. <laughs> Are you just gonna laugh at it, eh? <laughs> you guys hear the freaking dogs here? Yeah. No. Nah. Oh, that's good. <laughs> Jared, <laughs> no, bro. What's <laughs> <laughs> he joking? Hey, what did you do? Let me go look, let me go look, let me go look. Oh, jeez. <laughs> God. <laughs> That can be a short <laughs> when you when you need TP. <laughs> oh shit! Uh, Dude, that's that's solid there. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, can't ever you kill me. Are you posting it? Yo, <laughs> we you monkey. Wait, I'll tag you as well. So we tag Wade as well if you want. As we just tag the whole chat. Oh, yes. Send tag, send tag, send tag, send tag, send tag. Send everyone, Jared. Oh, shit. How far back was it? Oi. Bonnie, you must let me know about that spreadsheet, bro. For stream, um, let me just double check. I saw your message yesterday, but uh, I was a bit busy. Yeah, no, it's cool. <clears throat> David, did you see that thing on uh, Card Blanche about where they swap out the coal on the trucks at the at the coal yards? And put rocks in it. Are you joking? Jeepers, bro. What the hell? Bro, what did they do with the coal? Surely they don't sell it. Who, they, who do they sell it to? No, they so they sell it to private guys and then they sell like rock coal to Eskom and then that's why it's eating holes in the boilers and the stuff the whole time. And the one guy even admitted that he's buying a 30 ton truck of coal for like 30 cents. What? <laughs> 30 cents. 30 oh. cents, bro. Like what, a kilo? 30 cents no, a bro, kilo for, must... a, for a 30 ton truck, bro. What the fuck do you pay 30 cents for that? For the whole truck. Proper corruption. Yeah, dude. Um, Hectic. Bar coal. But yo, they, they're saying like when they bring it in and weigh it, like for example, let's say they say it's a ton, but it's actually only like, you know, 500, I don't know, 500 kgs of, of actual coal and then the rest is just these rocks. Yeah. Yeah. That's post hectic. Yeah. Uh, yo, no. This is South Africa. You, DJ's looking good, eh? DJ's looking pretty good. 30 minutes yeah i mean we basically had a minor resistance right here we've closed above there makes perfect sense to move up to 160. there's not really enough range here for me to be taking a trade it's like 10 pips i mean really we could see rejections to that level so i would rather see us break above 164 bars here but we look mm. good to move up to 160 and potentially close above on the hourly. 
So yeah, looking good. And you've got that deep as retracement and support find in the previous hourly candle. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So if we do manage to close above there, oof. Yeah, this is solid as well. Just the fact that we've had some sort of retracement and support formed. Yeah, we just have to wait and see, yeah. And then yeah, gold, this current range between 1840 and 1836, obviously we just want to avoid that completely. Mm. I feel like this hourly could come back and flip bearish. Close below 1836. I was saying with with it having such a well, I was thinking with the hourly having such a small bottom work, it's entirely possible that it could just be creating the liquidity grab to carry on moving down once London opens. Yeah. As long as we don't break above 1840.8. Then we may see the cells playing out late in the session yeah i agree i mean we had this strong move yesterday we're just slowly correcting it you know there's not a lot of volume to the upside here these candles mm -hmm. are very small so once volume kicks in i'm expecting a strong bearish candle here and then to ride these cells down to 1826 because you can see like i say we just slowly moving up here not a lot of volume yeah it's more of a, a correction phase than actually moving up from support yeah uh, that's a better way to put it correction phase oh chat <laughs> yeah chat gpt we haven't spoken yeah. about that on stream eh? i think it's definitely something you could integrate into stream somehow how, how do you reckon? I don't know, but when we board, we just mess around on it, <laughs> ask you questions. Yeah, so it's chess out the window now, now that I've started to get good at Yeah, all right. <laughs> yeah. We can actually play a game of chess just now. I mean, there's 25 minutes here till I do anything. Yeah, I'm, I'm definitely, I'm, I'm about to break into the 300s, which is doesn't sound good but uh, I've been screwed up so much learning that I got my score to like a hundred. Jared I so, won't lie that's pretty good because you you were on like a hundred so you've made progress. Hello? So, sorry so I'm definitely thinking yeah, sorry, uh, what was I saying? Um, yeah, with going up to 300, dude, it's definitely short as a grind, eh? Just... 2,200 points from Grandmaster. We'll get there soon. Let me beat you a couple of times and then I'll, I'll definitely get there today. Yeah. <laughs> Sheesh. I played one of my friends in a blitz match and I beat him on time because he's very good. And then I got quite a few points and his score dropped like crazy. Oh, yeah, I'm so that, much lower than him. That's what happened to me. That's how I lost so much rating points because I played K and she she had just started. So she was on like 400. And like I said, I'd worked my way up to like a thousand. But I'd only played maybe like six or seven games. Played K, lost, and my rating went all the way down to like 700. Yeah, that's super frustrating, eh? So, yeah. dude, you, but when you like play with friends, it's so lack of when you have such a low score because then you're guaranteed to win some at some point. And then, yeah. yeah you check what Omar is saying there. He was pulling our leg yesterday. It doesn't, cuck doesn't mean anything in. Their language. He heard it from someone else. That's cock funny. From Lagos. Must be a South African living in Lagos though. Uh, check, uh, asking stupid shit here to chat GPT. Forex trading Drake first. <laughs> yeah. 
Oh no, it's crazy what that thing can do. Okay, should we play a game of chess? Oh yeah, I'm keen now. I'll send you an invite. Do you want to play 10 minutes or what? Um, yeah, alright. Okay, alright. We've got like 20 minutes, so yeah, 10 minutes is hard. <clears throat> Should be enough time. I'll probably only take 5 minutes anyway. You just say you're gonna beat him in 5 minutes. <laughs> yeah. You, Jared. Not today. You won't let him disrespect you like that, bruh. That's like being hit open hand. Oh yeah, I sent the invite here. Um, there we go. Coming now, Jared. Yeah, gold looks like it's gonna start to sell off. Play Wordle really opens up your brain nerves. I think chess does as well. Chess definitely um, gets your brain going. You've got to think strategically. Yeah, that was a good move, Jared. Oh, yeah, thank you. I appreciate it. Not good enough. <clears throat> um, good morning. Are we in a trade? No, we're not. Waiting for London. No, sorry. We're waiting for the new hourly candle at this point. Hey, Connor, I want to ask you if you're up for the week. Would you necessarily take the risk again on Fridays? I'll be a bit more selective on Friday. Um, of course, I have had it in the past where I give away profits on Friday. That is something what um, I think most traders go through that at some point. So yeah, I've obviously learned my lessons from that. So I would like to be a little bit more selective on a Friday, especially NFP Friday. So like I say, I'm waiting for an hourly candle closure here. Hourly candle is going to give us a nice strong confirmation. And if it doesn't, then obviously no trade for me. The other horsey. The horsey is in gevaar. The horsey is in gevaar. Chat is saying you must use your horse, bro. Your knight. My guy, utilize. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'll horse. get there. I'll get there. I don't want to play too slow here. Yeah. MHD news. Okay, I'll have a look just now after this game. 
Jared. Where's everyone in chat from? Yeah, we actually haven't asked that question in a while. Wooden. I thought Omar was from India, to be honest. Oh, Pakistan. Japan, jeez, Ghana, New Zealand. Hey, it's far reaching, bro. Hector, you from New Zealand? Hmm. Hmm. Hector, you know, where are you in New Zealand? North or South Islands? Funny that the same people that that will call out signals are saying host to to three nine to the bishop here. <laughs> uh. Please move the king to the right and get the rook out. Yeah, man, I'm I'm getting there. <laughs> Chill. <laughs> Basil, have you been to Petra? Petra, what's Petra? Bro, it's an entire city carved into a rock face in Jordan. It's insane. Uh, Jared got hungry there. Google that shit, Connor. Kill the bishop. Kill the bishop. This is actually going to present some problems. Let's castle here. Your money's on Jared. 
Un mois. Hey, heavy ah. day. Tosca. So over his pad. Check. Wait. Um, that was unfair. Yeah. <laughs> so, sorry, I, I cheated. I know. Uh, Morning, yeah. Yavan. You put every move into chat GPT. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you know you can play. You can play chess against chat GPT. Really? Yeah, I, I try to play a game against it, but it's quite. Like it literally types out every. It basically types out a chessboard every time you make a move. So it takes a while. It's quite a mission. Okay, Omar, I want my money. You can send it to my PayPal. Thanks. Oh, yeah, David, hold that there. Sure, Jared. One of yeah. these days. One of these days. <laughs> Jared, you must play Evan, yeah. What is he ranked? <laughs> it's like a thousand three hundred. Proxim, I'm alright there. He says he will avenge you. Okay, <laughs> yeah, are you gonna play him quickly? Um, let's let's wait here and see for ten minutes. I suppose maybe we could play a a blitz, blitz match. Yeah. Is it Evan or Evan? Cobra mindset or Cobra mindset. It's only Ivan if his surname is Ruiz. Challenge you need to relax, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. You won. Oh shit, okay. You won. You won. Where are you from, you won? I think that might also help us with the pronunciation. Yeah. England. I wasn't expecting that though. So with his name on chess.com, I'm kind of not surprised. That seems like something a, a Brit would say, or well, a Brit would make their name. <laughs> Is Yuan like a common name in England? I don't know. It sounds kind of South African. Yeah, bro. Definitely South Af sounds South African. If someone's from England, I expect, expect their name to be like Michael or Michael. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's Scottish. Hey, Wayne, bro, that's racist. Ah, dude, whatever. <laughs> How the hell is that racist? I'm raving. <laughs> Scottish. Isn't there quite a lot of Scottish influence in South Africa? Yeah, there is. We've got a Scottish guy that works with me, but he's uh, he's got a, a Celtic name. So it's spelled like S-E-A-R-O-S. -E and you pronounce it Thoris. Thoris. That's such a strange name. Yeah, it's, I've never heard it before. No, I need to have a... Uh... Put a thesaurus type of book. Oh yeah, I'm just gonna eat breakfast quick, so I'm just gonna be a mute here. Man, your life is incomplete if you haven't had a conversation with the drunk Scottish everything this buzz over your head. What? Okay. Okay. Should we play a quick game? Actually, no, I'm not gonna have time. Eight minutes, so let's just wait for 
for nine o'clock. I lost two hundred dollars. Anyone help me? My account blown. Yes, yeah, sure. You you in the right place to further your education. And by the sounds of things, that's exactly what you need to do. The best. Yeah, smile. Like I say, if you if you hang around, you're gonna learn a few things. But some some of the things we speak about is um, like if if trader said there in chat, don't risk your whole account per trade. So you need to be risking an amount you are comfortable with. If you only have two hundred dollars to trade, you need to understand that you are not going to get rich overnight, and your gains on that account are going to be very small. But at the end of the day, trading is a game of probabilities and you get rich over a thousand trades and not one. So you cannot expect to take $200 and I don't know, I don't know what you're expecting to do with $200 to be honest. Um, but all you can really do is just chip away and follow the process. So risk use a 0 comma 1 or 0 comma 0 2 and just try put in good trades get consistent with putting in good solid trades and when trades are going against you managing your risk and you'll probably see you'll grow that account slowly and then when you've got more money you can also add into that account so you're going to be funding it and compounding it but the last thing you want to do is try and flip it because if you're trying to flip the account you have an equal chance of blowing the account if you have a hundred dollars account how much is your lot size um you need to be a realistic a hundred dollar account is not really a realistic account but you know we've spoken about it before where having a hundred dollar account is quite useful to just get the feel for trading with real money and losing real money so be prepared to lose that a hundred dollars first of all first of all um but lot size wise i mean zero comma zero two zero comma zero two because then you can manage risk as well you could close half of your position leave a runner or Basil said it depends on your stop loss. Of course, it does depend on your stop loss. Um, but the thing is, with such a small account, you, you don't have a mu you don't have much room to to be adjusting your lot size. To be honest, zero comma zero two is going to probably be just about as big as you can go. We are expecting $50 profit per day with 200. No, uh -uh, not possible. Sorry. Change your, change your expectations. It's probably why a lot of people fail in trading. They come in with the, the wrong expectations and they come in it for the wrong reasons. The ones who actually become successful is because they've discovered the <clears throat> um, the real, you know, purpose in trading, and I think that's working on yourself, becoming a better version of yourself. Guys who are just chasing money, they're not doing the right things to actually be a good trader. They're not working on their discipline. They're not working on their patience. They're not working on their trading plan. They're not working on sticking on their trading plan.
and that's that's the other thing you guys come in and ask about money ask about hundred dollar accounts how much can i make so uh, this and that but you never ask how do i actually become a better trader so change your perspective your focus is in the wrong place i think a lot of people also come on to stream and they expect you to just hoy signals left right and center like that's not the point of this entire stream the stream is here to to teach people to to make good trades to put into practice good trading principles so that you can go and trade by yourself because if the stream ends and you haven't learned that you're going to be stuck where you were a year ago yeah exactly exactly spot on most new traders dream to be a millionaire in a day with trading yeah it's normal it's normal that's why I'm, I'm trying to be patient and explain these things i mean i came into it with the same mindset but at the same time i also came into it with with the commitment that okay i know one day i'm going to be successful and when i came across trading i said this is my platform i'm going to stick to this until i'm successful so that's the other thing a lot of people they're not willing to commit to a, a process of learning of trial and error they just want to see money this is my wallpaper and like i said when i came across trading i said to myself this is this is how I do it. You can't you can't afford expensive courses. That's great. Neither neither could I. YouTube. Go through go through the streams from last year. There's a whole lot of info in those streams from last year. All right. We had an amazing profitable year. Every month we were profitable. So go back and watch how we were doing things last year trading is a practical thing so you need to do it to practice also watching someone else do it and understanding the thought process you know that is that is extremely helpful that's how i learned is actually watching other people's live streams and that's why i decided to do live streams as well i feel it's it's extremely beneficial because you can of course learn yourself through trial and error but sometimes you uh, you're not honest with yourself about certain outcomes you know um, maybe you'll take a loss and say oh it was the market but if you have someone on your ass when you take a loss or when a loss is taken you know you're gonna know that there were there were things you could have done better so having the stream here you know you could consider this to be mentoring so I'm walking you through the process are you roger bank student no i'm just a subs just a subscriber i would say there's a difference not Okay, nine o'clock here. Yeah. Hourly candle on GJ closed bearish. No bottom week. Will be interesting to see what happens on this next hourly candle. Is it news or something? But overall, still in this range, so no trades from me. For sales here on GJ, I'm not really liking the idea of sales, but 
think our cleanest sales will be below 158.500 if and when we break below that level. Reason for sales below there. So on the daily, I know that we are bearish here actually. But if we look on the four hour, I'd say that we are quite bullish. And we have had this nice strong move to the upside. We've had a pullback, support formed. You know, these are these are all the things you look for in a bar. Although right now, price is in a range. So I'm not too interested in this area right here. But if we break below 158, 500, uh, below there we have clean traffic to the downside. We're breaking yesterday's lows. It would make sense for us to then fill this range to the left. And that's the reason I would only take sales there. Gold, we're still moving up here. Breaks above 1840. We do have clean range moving up. I just don't really like the idea of bias based off the daily being bearish. Um, four hour candle also. I know we closed bullish on the previous four hour, but we have closed bullish, a weak bullish candle with a weak rejection to this previous four hour support area. So I would rather avoid bias because I feel. From what I'm seeing, you know, we may get a deeper push up into 1840s and then a rejection for these cells. Can anyone recommend a good indicator? Your eyes. How much percentage is your average gain per month? Monthly, Trading needs a lot of patience and self-discipline. Learning in a stream like this helps us not only motivation, but on how to be patient and how to trade successfully. Again, my deepest appreciation. Johnny Lon, appreciate you too, bro. Check JPY USD. Um, you're more than welcome to send a chart to the Discord group. That's going to be easiest for us both. So I can see what you're looking at. Personally, I don't trade that pair. So I'll just send it through to the Discord and then let me know and I'll have a look. Do you just trade London and pre-London? Yep. Um, I do have a look at New York. I've been looking at New York a little bit more and more, but I, I like to just stick to London and pre-London. You know, that's morning for me, so I get it over and done with and then kind of free for the rest of the day to do what I want and need.
I feel like with this current hourly candle, even though we closed bearish on the previous previous candle, we had no bottom wick. We're still respecting this area here. I think we could still see this hourly candle go bullish and then maybe get a closure above 160 at London Open. That is what I'm wanting to see. Got to kind of like visualize these things, plan, visualize, and then when it comes to you, execute on that. Gold still just ranging. The thing is, I can see with gold, um, it may look like a break. It may look like a break. It will break above that resistance, but then I mean, it's coming into an area where it may just turn resistance again. So it doesn't necessarily mean that I want to fight it going up. If it could just create a new resistance and continue on driving down with the weekly selling pressure. You get what I mean? Yeah, I feel. Because if it does break above there, it has, what is it, 30 pips maybe to carry on pushing before it gets into the next level of, or you know, what is it going to do from here? Yeah. So I'd rather just wait to see how it closes um, at that new zone in order to carry on driving down. Or if it does break another um, resistance, we could continue on up. So take your trade now, it just wouldn't be the best idea. Lower people actually search the eyes indicators on trading view. Surely not. Surely not. Do you trade live on MT5 too as Roger Banks? Uh, or you just show trading view? Yeah, I've been popping up the MetaTrader now, start of this year. So I started this account, end of November. Deposited six, six K. I haven't withdrawn anything yet. Maybe I should make it with Joel just to show you guys, but it is love. Obviously it's love. Oh, well, you can see here. Dominion markets real. Yeah, anyway. How long have I been trading? Must be going on to... Well, you know what? I always get confused whether I started end of 2019 or end of 2018. End of 2019. 2019. Yeah, it's going on, on my fourth year of trading now. Do you have a copy trading system? No, I don't. Hanko trade? No. Uh, I have not tried it. Leverage just 1 to 200? You don't really need much more. You really don't. Yeah, we all, <laughs> I, I see a lot of people say the eyes indicate. I think that first came from Uncle Ted. And then guys are like, what? Uh, E-Y-E-S, where do we get this indicator? Bro, in your fucking head. 
It'll be sick if someone does create an indicator on trading view that's called the eyes indicator and then like nothing pops up. Oh wait, let's have a look here. Dude, it would explode. Can I tell dude, you it would have would... a hundred thousand downloads the first day? <laughs> it would be amazing, bro. Like oh, literally you... nothing changes when you put it on. <laughs> You're gonna have so many people just um so many people promoting and have Uncle Ted, Roger, Don. What is this thing? Omar created, bro, and you can pay me royalties for whatever you make. Chat GPT. Let's do it. We're going to make an ice indicator on stream. Hmm. chat gpt you can do like programming and that kind of stuff so let's see How do I even word this? Write me a code me an indicator called as Okay, wait, wait, wait. Chat, what should the Did indicator you, actually do? You see you have the 15 minute close bit on hold. Uh, uh, 15 on my side, still close bullish there. Yeah, no, but you see uh, that. It's a nice rejection. Oh, it's a weak bullish. Mm. Yeah. I'll still be and waiting for a closure below 36. Yeah, candle bodies are getting smaller, which is showing there's not a lot of upside pressure. Yeah, uh, and there's weak rejection now, so yeah, that shows that that price is holding significance. Old me would have taken a buy here with stops below the previous 50 minute candle, like two pips, and then gone to pull the wicket. <laughs> <laughs> Want to send RR? <laughs> so you literally would have been stopped out already. <laughs> <laughs> With a hundred lot, and I would have been like, away. <laughs> Let's see what happens. Eh? See, the other thing we're taking sells right now. The previous hourly candle was bullish there. So, we, you know, when you get an hourly candle closure, especially when we've got this this kind of price action, higher highs, higher lows, right? If we get a hourly bullish candle, it's more likely for. Well, there's a higher probability we drive up on the next hourly candle right we are looking for sales here so or i'm not looking for buyers at least so i'm not really interested in that setup right now i would rather see us reject here and close below 18.36 for the safest sales so really just prices in a range here and we want to avoid Joke. this range. It's me, sorry. Okay. Give me a second, guys. Okay, Joe, can you come to general quickly, please?
Basil, are you OG Banana on the Discord group? What is Mansaf? <laughs> Elevator music for stream needs to be changed. <laughs> does it? Really does. I'm gonna try my luck in asking this chat. Does anyone have any music suggestions? Or does anyone make music who could make some music for the stream that won't be copyrighted? Oh, that sounds lack, eh? I like I don't I don't like eating with a, a knife and a fork to be honest. I love going to, to restaurants where you eat with your hands. There there's certain things you have to eat with your hands, you just have to. Like what, bro? Like a burger, pizza. Yeah, 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 oh, for sure. I mean, I thought Nachos. you said with a knife and a fork. Oh, no, no, with your hands. No, no. I don't like a knife and a fork. It depends. Maybe if you're on like a first date, then you, know, <laughs> you don't want to get the sauce all over your mouth. Then maybe, uh, okay, knife and fork. But even then, like. Bro, yeah. I almost killed my wife on our first date, bro. She didn't tell me she's allergic to fish, and we went to a fish place. She started swelling up, bro. I had to inject her with an adrenaline pen. Oh, shit. <laughs> Seriously, first date gone wrong. Uh, we're really putting chat GPT to the test now. Come on, gold. Looking nice. Gold is looking solid. 30 minute candle closure. Ooh, it's coming in hot. She didn't eat any fish, David. I had fish and uh, I touched her hand and then she forgot about it and rubbed her eye. And then she started swelling up in the restaurant.
Just Nick and I leave for five minutes and now you're talking about allergies, eh? Bro, you missed the whole convo, bro. <laughs> I'm gonna have to go rewatch it on stream, eh? Con, what are your thoughts on gold, eh? I wanna see this indicator, bro. Um, <laughs> the 30, <laughs> the 30 minute is looking solid. <laughs> oh, goodness, dude. Uh, dude. 2023 is going to be a plot twist if we get rich off of the indicator. You can't even call that getting wealthy off of the indicator. Yeah, fuck this. Chat, I'm deleting the stream. None of you saw this, okay? This was my idea. Hey, hey, sir. <laughs> Fifty dollars, fifty dollars for the indicator. <laughs> Actually, five hundred. That is zero there. It makes me. I think it was Rainbow. Dude. He partners in this. Bro, I have copyright on that shit, bro. <laughs> I want royalties. <laughs> Gonna delete the piece where Dwayne speaks. Just keep your piece. Just clip that and delete the video. Hurry up. I'll do the editing. <laughs> Active trotter. Jared, I'll kick your ball off the fairway into the rough, bro. I, I don't know how to interpret that. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know if that's a threat or... <laughs> <laughs> or if that's something I might enjoy, sir. <laughs> oh, indeed. Did you come right, sir? This area. You good? No, sorry, I was just muted because I'm not busy on something else in my laptop. No yeah, stress. Um, the thing is, what she, what you showed me, I think it's for um. Computer to our job. Uh, I get you. So it's not an external one. It's not Google external. Dude, I'm legit gone for Nick and I are gone for five minutes. We come back, Wayne's telling the story, and Connor's coding trading video. <laughs> Boys, I made a, only... I made an indicator. It's oh, not jam. It's not anything. Um, what I was expecting. <laughs> that's we... not what, what I want. That's fine. not what I wanted. <laughs> We can't even market this that months and months of hard work went into it because it was literally seven minutes on stream. <laughs> bro, look, look at that thing, bro. <laughs> so when the blue line crosses the red line. Wait, 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 chat. When the blue line taps into the bottom line, it's a bar. Look how accurate this this indicator is. <laughs> <laughs> when the blue line taps into the red line, it's a so. Okay, so we had to tap into the red line. This is a nice confirmation for ourselves here, guys. Solid. Okay. I'm actually going to look further into this, but this is... This is pretty sick. <laughs> what? Fuck yes, boys. So now you know. Eh? Let's see if you can actually. If you can find it. 
Bro, some imagine someone full margins a trade based on that indicator, bro. Oh, don't worry, they're gonna get rich. They'll make their money back for what they paid for it, at least. Con, I'm just gonna put this here, that this is your baby, brother. I don't want anything to do with it. <laughs> and this is Sauce Vakey's serious bank, then. I was just kidding. Guys, it's <laughs> gone. It's gone. Okay, let's try this again. What are you calling me indicator? Ours. Eyes indicator. <laughs> we just need to find that clip of Uncle Ted, Don, and Roger speaking about eyes, dude. And then it's, <laughs> dude, it's the first drive to go pick up with the Lambo, hey? Yo, bro. This is ridiculous. ChatGPT. You see, I told you, I told you we were gonna have fun with ChatGPT on stream. We made an indicator, bro. <laughs> what are the chances? <laughs> Fuck yeah. Um, 30 minutes coming to a close, eh? Yeah. Convert to Pan script V5. Okay. Let me just copy paste this and then we're gonna look at the 30 minute candle closure. Okay, so like I said, we've had the, the tap of the red line. So now nice sell confirmation there. Eh? Thirty minute close bullish here on GJ. I did discuss this candle potentially uh, turning bullish since our previous candle had no bottom wick and we're still trading above this uh, previous resistance area or most recent support area. Gold. I really don't think this is looking bad. That's yeah, not. It's not, it's just a little bit of a tricky situation since we're still in the range here. But what we could look at doing is with pre London volume, sell stops on the break of this low, 25 pip stops. So you're looking at 1836.6. Um, if I were to have sales here, it would probably be on the break of this low. 1835, 7.40. I just, we, we've got 30 minutes until London open here. Yeah. That's the other thing. Yeah. Um, but I mean, nice rejections here to, to this area. Yeah, we look, we look pretty solid. People are going to blow their account just because of the stream. <laughs> yeah. It, Obviously, I know nothing about coding. I know, or I actually preach against indicators. So, guys, if you are interested in that indicator, just know that it's absolute shit. And you should not rely on indicators at all. Full stop. I think it also shows just how easy it is to make one. Yeah. Yeah. And it looked pretty accurate. I won't lie. No, if you didn't know, if you didn't see us do this, you would have been like, wait, maybe it's on something. Yeah. Let me, let me ask my grandma for a pension so I can put it on 
<laughs> on this random ass indicator I found there. Oh, and then are you thinking we're gonna drive down into 1826? Eh? Final TP. Yeah, final TP 1826.9. I'm just gonna put the 1827. Yeah, but um, I would feel a lot more comfortable waiting for hourly close. So. Mm. for sending it through so unless something changes i'm gonna wait for the hourly i've just got the templates and prices ready let's just see what happens okay like a, yeah i would like to see the hourly candle close dxy bullish i think if we do if we do break below 1835 800 we could see some volume there So we might miss this initial move if we're waiting for London Open. But that's fine. I think it will be a safe option. And then we just get the sales below 1832. Yeah, I, I was even just about to say if if we do break below 1835.8, then that heightens the probabilities of closure. Next hourly candle creates a top wick, breaks a low. That would be a better trade in my opinion yeah also okay. friday let's just practice patience here yeah and nfp yeah this week of the the year but it's been a relatively slow week there's been good moves but they haven't been easy to catch you know what i mean no they've been a bitch in other words they've been coming out different times strange times they've been erratic you know so it's definitely you know the first week of jan is always tough so it was expected but i mean you still did relatively well made some good call outs um good analysis showed patience so what's up keegs where's your your boy storm you and i'll play you in a game of chess we just need to add each other's friends i don't know how we're gonna do that um, wait, listen, I'm gonna buy it on drop okay. it. I better drop there, Jared. If it was a fucking yeah, I'll just such a mission, bro. Okay. I had to go into my computer's like disk and like change the shit there in four minutes from there. Oh, shit. Yeah. Are you also making like, indicators there? I'm fucking trying to. I, my pictures of my son is on my laptop, so I'm trying to put it on my external hard drive. So when I try to restart the laptop, I'll just see if it's gonna work or not fix the screen i'm scared it fucks out completely and then i lose those pictures of my son so that's why i'm just trying to put it over now before my battery dies for the slow chilling and then you know that's why i'm saying i'm leaving because i'm gonna close everything except that oh, oh yeah but no stress we'll check you a bit later hmm? sure we'll check you a bit later cheers man very yeah, sure i guess I wanna wait. I'm gonna ask. Do you wanna jump today? Uh uh no. Nah, I'm I might go sit in the sauna. Nah, so I will. I will. Okay. Look, so how do I check my name on chess.com? Uh, I think it's FFF Trader. Wait. Is it? I think it could be. Oh, Profile. Triple F Trader. Ah, the dogs are playing here outside. Oh. Shame. The male Shame. is, the male's, uh, he's like one or 14 months old now, so he's trying to show how dominant he is to the girl. <laughs> uh, let's, let's take Showing her who's the boss. 
Yeah. Nah, I'm not gonna fix him though. You guys have to be kind to AR, otherwise it's gonna fuck us up. So just say thank you. Francisco Frederick Finley. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> hey, your parents didn't like you, bro. <laughs> yeah. See, that's how everybody just calls me. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I'm literally playing somebody with a 1,387 rating. I feel like he's gonna murder me. No, I'm just kidding. A uh, triple F stands for financially free 4x. Um, it's just something I just came up with when I was thinking of a name way back when. And then I do, don't really stick by that, it's just triple F, which I don't know, it's just something I keep. Connor is working super hard on this <laughs> indicative room. <laughs> Okay, now I'm I'm actually going to make one that does what I wanted to do. So I wanted to just put in the most recent highs and lows, like on the 30 minutes. Um, so it's not doing exactly what I wanted to do now. But if I can figure it out, like I'm just doing trial and area to to see how to actually make an indicator. Uh, whatever. Yes, you get zero points if he wins his chess match against me, eh? Probably. Well, dude, it is kind of like, if you had to put it in perspective, it's like a, a varsity student going to a crash to start a fist fight. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> Not many people are going to be like, wow, you deserve much for doing that. <laughs> you, see, you got that kid in that headlock, eh? <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Hey, yo. School shooter. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think I only gained like two rating points when I beat you. Jeez. I should get rating points for just playing. <laughs> like, you guys got so, so much better than me. <laughs> Oh, dude. Look, I can low-key see the traps he's trying to put me in. All I'm saying is, you and if you lose, bro, <laughs> your rating is going to be... It might not probably be better than yours at that point. If you lose, then we swap ratings. <laughs> you yeah, yeah, Jared is probably gonna go to like 800. It's a pink slip, bro. <laughs> yes. I lose 70. Okay, that's not too bad. Oh, you've played, you've played a lot more games, so I suppose it's like sample size as well. I think the more games you have, the less of an effect. 
because it kind of takes your average from what I'm guessing, what I'm seeing. I think the only, only chance I have here is if I beat this egg on time. So you see if if the risk reward on this game of chess is really not it. <laughs> it's like one to forty. <laughs> one if you win and forty if you lose, eh? <laughs> Yeah for you. Yeah. For you and it's a negative RR, yeah. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So this is trading smart on my part. And this for you and is just definitely not it. Eh? <laughs> Oh, 15 minutes until the open of the London. But don't stress you and I'm definitely going to beat you. I watched an episode of the Queen's Gambit, so I'm quite good at chess. <laughs> Did you watch a chair? Nah. Mm -mm. It's actually pretty good. I watched a little bit of it. I was watching Jack Reacher and um, what's the other one? Jack Ryan. Yeah. What is that about? Oh, yeah, Jack Ryan. The I saw the it's trailer a... for it. You know, it's about a guy who's um, he's in the CIA, but like in an in an analyst position, and then he picks up on like things that the guys are doing planning attacks or whatever and um then he like gets involved as a field agent with another guy it's it's quite interesting it's based on a book by tom clancy okay tom clancy is one of my favorite authors eh? yeah he makes some solid books sure it's amazing i don't even know who he is <laughs> <I'm just> <laughs> <joking>. <laughs> The funny thing is that guy, the main actor, Jim from The Office, he doesn't look what? like a, he doesn't look like a guy who would play a role in a, like an action movie. Yeah, uh, but he, he looks quite good as well. Like he's, he's quite ripped. Is it? Yeah. Oh, Jim. Did you guys ever watch The Office? No. Mm -hmm. Jared, I'm sure you would enjoy it. You know, I'm not. I'm I know not you're the biggest human, fan. Yeah, I'm not the biggest fan of TV. Yeah, yeah no, no, neither am I. Yeah. I, I, if if I watch anything, it's on YouTube. Yeah, I like YouTube. I just feel like TV is such a waste of time. If yeah. I'm watching a movie or something, like in the back of my head, it's like, what the fuck are you doing? You're wasting time. But there are it's some meaningless. Series, you know, there are some series that you just did it's a right of passage to watch here, eh? like yeah. Peaky Blinders. No, they are. Couple. They are for sure. But you have to get involved in it. Breaking Bad. Yeah, Breaking Bad sure. drew me in. Dude. Fuck. Planted my queen. You and Nico just give away your queen so fun. I swear. Indeed. I think I could have a check on him now though. Oh, but now I'm, he's probably fucking listening and just <laughs> be like, okay, do we have a look away? Oh, he's gonna, yeah, this is difficult. 
I'm concerned for your wives one day. You're just gonna give them away, bro. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that escalated so fast. <laughs> you, folks don't protect their queens. Nah, no, he's got me, dude. There's nothing I can do yet. I think if there's if there's nothing setting up in the next 30 minutes, I'm gonna call it a day. Cause we'll see how London opens. We'll see if there's volume coming in in the first 15, 20 minutes of London. And if there's nothing, then yeah, I mean it is Friday, NFP Friday. Right now, yeah, this is just not it. Oh no, uh, you and one, eh? Had to resign. Really? No ways. Yeah. Like, dude, he's good, eh? Yeah, he is pretty good. But but I start off alright, but then I get frustrated. So I must definitely like, like work on that. Yo, you and said it was funny, dude. <laughs> that's that's an insult. You said it was fun, Connor. There's a major difference here. <laughs> oh, oh, shit, my bad. <laughs> what do you think about gold right now? I think it's in a range. Oh, Not much. Nothing too much we're having a look at. We were looking for souls, but it just doesn't look like it's going to break below. So we're going to see our London open, what that's going to do to gold. And then if it breaks the upside, not too keen on taking the buys because of the resistance 30 pips away that is going to be difficult to trade into um so we're definitely looking for sells today we just need confirmations to break the support close below top wick um break the previous kind of low and then we'll be in on a soul coming down to retest yesterday's low at 1827 basically to sum it up yeah and if we get a hourly bullish candle close above 1840, it would look good for bars, but we've discussed why, you know, I'm not too interested in bars, so I'll just watch that play out. Will you re-explain on, on um, the live stream why you're not looking for the bars, just so that anybody coming around and in open also knows why we're not going to? Okay, well, starting off on the daily, we had a engulfing bearish candle, if you want to call it that. And what I'm looking for basically in the session is for the daily to flip bearish and come down and fill the wick. I think that's going to be our highest probability trade here. On the four hour, we can see that we had this support right here. Okay, the support area. <clears throat> you can see how these candle bodies found support here, yeah, and we had a lot of wicks, a lot of rejections to this area. So now on our previous four hour candle, we had a pretty strong wick up into this area as well. Closed with a weak bearish body. We also had no bottom wick on the previous four hour. So very high probability we come down to 18, 35, 500 still to at least get that bottom wick. Um, and even if we do break above 1840, just based on what I'm seeing here, I don't think we will push up and fill this, this whole range here. I think we'll maybe push up 20 pips or so, and then we'll see us come back down. Just looking at the technicals here. But we also need to understand that there's NFP later today. It's a Friday. So I'd rather just play it safe. You know, if there were a lot of volume um, and we we're getting an hourly candle closure above here, I think bars would not be too bad. But there's a few things that are throwing me off from the bars. Namely that previous four hour no bottom week as well.
and then another thing we discussed is so yesterday we had that strong move down with solid usd news and then now we have just been slowly moving up here so we're creating higher highs higher lows on this most recent price action but the thing is this is more of a corrective phase if you're looking at this strong move down yesterday we're just correcting some of that move and then we're looking for a continuation that makes the most sense here based off the other time frames daily four hour um and then somebody's asking for gbp usd sell entry price so if you are keen to send that through to our discord channel you're more than welcome to and then we can have a look at that um generally with with um pairs we don't trade we don't generally bring it up on stream so just let us know if you do do it If you do send it through to Discord, then we can have a look for you. Gonna smash driving range off to this corner. <clears throat> Sorry, I was just plugging in mine uh in my laptop into my inverter. Just got low cheating. That's pretty no worries. I can't write on Discord. What? Posted in the community charts. Oh. <laughs> Sheesh, the Discord is stacking up here. Eh? Nearly 400 nah. people on here. community chat hello yeah there you are i can see your message yeah who knows you can send your chart so we can have a look Yo, you can chat to us obviously on the YouTube live streams, but if you want to send like um, a trade or a chart or that, then you can send it through to Discord and ask us to view it, and then we'll we'll have a look at it for you and give our thoughts and ideas. Do we have a meme channel? <laughs> Who asked that? <laughs> 
Uh, I can't even know what his uh, name is. Oh, uh, yeah. Nah. <laughs> nah, bro, this is... This is business. Oh, dude, OG Banana says to that, do you have a meme channel? Hashtag crypto. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, that, that is solid. Uh, that's, that's a good response. That's yeah. hilarious, bro. Oh, dude, it was like that. Um, yesterday, I think it was David something, where he, somebody says, I lost, or I just made $167. I'm worried about my tax. And then he goes, wow, $167. <laughs> oh, shit. Dude, yo, that was like on point, dude. That was the best response you can give it. Yeah, honestly, the crypto channel, we don't put too much time in. It's more of a community space for if anyone wants to talk about it. Yeah. But for now, it's not, not too much to talk about. It looks like gold may not break above that resistance. So if we do now create a topic and start driving down, I'm going to be very interested in those cells. If you go to like the hourly, we can see we just flip back bearish. Yeah. 30 minutes. Created a support resistance. If it breaks support, it should be clean traffic going down. But yeah, I see what you're saying that it's not really worth too much if it doesn't do anything in the next little bit. I mean, if we're closing bearish on hourly like this, obviously we're still in a range, most importantly. But closing bearish. Yeah, no, I mean, with, with London open volume, I do think that if we break these lows of the previous... Um, or well, the seven o'clock candle. I think we could fill the rest of the range here. Okay, there we go. Close bearish on the hourly. Let's have a look. Just an idea, but I could definitely see if we break the lows, we adjust our our entry to 1836.75 stops above um the previous 30 minute candles wick and then we could drive down but if it breaks that wick then i'm done for the day to be full for the morning um Reckon. sorry joe i didn't i wasn't focusing there it's just, if we break above the previous 30 minutes candles wick yeah, and I think I'm gonna call it a day, but I could even see myself adjusting my entry to um, the break of the previous 30 minute candle low. So 1836.75, roughly somewhere around there. Um, I know we've got those those wicks to the left, um, but I'm really expecting volume to clear those quite easily. And at least come down to create that bottom week for the previous four hour and that gives yeah. us like 12 pips so what do you reckon yeah i reckon i like that idea so it stops on the break of previous hourly lows the issue is this is support right here yeah. um it's the only reason i'm, I'm comfortable with breaking that support is with the London volume. Yeah. But like I said, there are a couple of conditions on it. Like if it does break the 30 minute high, I think I'm going to be done for the morning. What is that noise? Is it a vzzz? No, yeah. it's like a notification. It's oh. from my side. Okay. Come on, you check that point. Check that point. Let's go. Let's go, go. Let's go. <laughs> Let's nah, go. it's over, bro. <laughs> yeah, I know. It it's must... done. My seething voice didn't help this morning. Eh? GJ. GJ is pushing up nicely, though. Yeah. Yeah. The thing is, it's going up without a bottom work on the 30. 
I don't mine trust is a, Mine is a super mini bottom week, bro. Oh, dude, I feel like if I have to squint to see the bottom week, it's not a bottom week. <laughs> yeah, I'd actually use <laughs> Naz one. It's it a super mini one, bro. Oh, yeah, dude, that's like... <laughs> Yo. Dude, that's... 0.02 that's... pips. Oh. oh, that's tiny, bro. Yeah, I feel like that's gone. If you didn't catch that fire, you, I wouldn't force it there. Like we said, we're not really interested in trying to catch that fire up because the range is so small moving up. Yeah, the best option for me at this point on GJ is obviously mm -hmm. just these bars above 160. Yeah. And they look good. Mm -hmm. Uh, we have to get a closure above that level with a wick down and then a break of that. Mm. Otherwise, I'm not interested. Yeah, that's gonna be the. That's gonna be the play. Waiting for that closure, wick down, then break of the ha. That's what. That's um, what didn't happen yesterday. Yeah. Yeah, yesterday I tried impulse entries on GJ. Just got clapped. Volume just died down as soon as we broke the highs, so. Hey, cheers, Irma. Hope you have a good one. And you must trade safe. Enjoy NFP if you do trade, and we'll check you next week. Cheers, Omar. Check cheers, man. <laughs> Omar and Omar. Con, did you really think I couldn't streak off the course at all, eh? Yo, Jad, I'm sure you told me you couldn't. Nah, dude, I'm pretty well. I can, so I don't think I would say that. You know what I mean? The thing is... It's just so, me, bro. Yeah, we, we're willing to teach you, though. Like, are you taught us chess? We're willing to get you involved, though. Then we can we can Thanks. market ourselves as the first Afrikaans trading stream <laughs> in the world. <laughs> in the world. In the world. <laughs> what I'm saying is I spent twelve years doing Afrikaans <laughs> in a classroom and it didn't get me didn't get me very far. But did nobody I, I... comes out of Afrikaans in school speaking Afrikaans. Like, let's be honest, nobody, there's nobody that I knew that came from an English household that did Afrikaans at school and could fluently speak it when they left. The thing is, it's not a useful language business-wise, to be honest. I mean, it's just a lack of communication language, but for anything other than that, you need to do English. Hey, Charlize Theron, listen here, eh? <laughs> 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 bro, what? That lady, she needs to shut up, bro. <laughs> Sheesh. Okay, chat, look at this. Kalis. I know we've broken previous 30 minute highs, right? But with London Open, you know, we do see some volatility. Now, when there's volatility, you can see price breaking highs and lows um, on a 30 minutes, 15, even an hourly. Based off the hourly, we still respecting previous hourly highs. We've just tapped into this um, previous resistance, tapping into 1840, and we're now flipping back bearish. So let's see. Let's just keep an eye on this. So basically, the idea is going to be a sell stop on gold at 1836.8. Stop loss is at 1840.1 and take profit 1827. Right? Um, I might just want to wait for the 15 minute here. But it, I, I think it looks good here. Yeah. Are you looking for a sell stop possibly on the break of the hourly week? Uh, the bottom of that week. 
No, we're looking for a soul stop in the break of the previous 30 minutes week. Previous, hourly, previous 30, yeah. Oh, it's the same, same point, same level. Oh, okay. Oh, yes. Okay, I got that wrong. I was having a look. I thought you meant on the current hourly. Mm-mm, no, oh, so yeah, it's 1836.6 yeah, on, on my broker. Yeah, anybody look, uh, having a look or listening, we've currently got a sell stop at 1836.8. Stop loss is at 1840.1. And then our target is down at 1827. I haven't said sell stops just yet. Haven't you? Yeah, I'm a bit uncertain about it. I think I want to wait for a 15 minute. Okay. Just, I think that 15 minute will give us a bit more confirmation. Cause yeah, we broke previous 15 minute lows. We still in the range at the end of the day. The only thing that's really driving me that I wouldn't necessarily take this trade elsewhere would be the London Open. That's where I'm looking for the volume. But I've got the condition that if we do break above resistance or stop loss, then I'm going to delete the order. Yeah. Yeah, especially when you have such a tight range like this. Yeah. You know, with when we do get a breakout, you expect to see quite a bit of volume. And you're also in a time where we do generally see volume. So it makes sense. Are you going to buy at 160 on GJ? No. I need to see a closure above there. I'm gonna close bearish. Yeah, I'm OG. Banana just put something on the Discord, and yeah, that is basically what we're having a look at on gold. Two K subscribers. Yeah, pretty much. Two K. Yeah. What do you add at the oh. Guys, if you are obviously new to the channel, please make sure that you do hit that subscribe button and like button. We really do appreciate it. We're so close to 2 k We'd like to end off the first week of Jan with that. So, you will. It's actually, it's crazy, eh? Dude, 2,000 people is insane, eh? The... <laughs> The craziest thing I think was when we hit 500 subs and then you sent that picture of 500 people standing in a room. Oh yeah. And it's like, holy shit. Yeah. You know, it's a lot of people. I was gonna say, I think we need to buy Wayne the mute button. Hey, we just got a few subscribers so thank you guys we do appreciate that uh, thank you guys thank you thank you yeah i remember that video with the five hundred people i was also like damn daniel chat yo listen Let me expect a bullish movement for USD JPY. Um, no idea. <laughs> this GJ and Goldstream. 
just think about this. USD pairs, okay. We have NFP later on for USD pairs. We have, uh, looking at DXY, yeah, we have been moving up this morning, but now you can see price sitting at a pretty key resistance here, rejecting, kind of just consolidating. You know, it's a bit of a tricky situation. Um, gold, so gold to the dollar, is right now just ranging. You, UJ, I'm pretty sure, is probably also just ranging. Just make sure you take advantage of clean ranges. I'm looking at candles, so... Yeah, we've broken above resistance here. You've already got like a wick full. I suppose you have range to move up to this level right here. With London open volume. But I mean, it, are you really wanting to take the trade now? Do you not think that's FOMO? Look how much range you've got left here. Unless you may be scalping on a one minute time frame, you should have actually been in this trade. Um, when we broke above this resistance here. Or when we formed support over here. To be taking buys here makes no sense. You want to be taking trades close to key levels. So here was the key level where price was trading below. We broke above. And then... You know, you want to be getting involved somewhere in this area. But taking a trade here, we, we almost at the next key level. So there's just not enough range moving up there. Other than that, I'd say it's probably too late. To, to take bars now would just be FOMO. And then you've got to realize that we have NFP later on. So you've missed an opportunity now this morning already. I wouldn't force anything if I were you. Yeah, and gold. <sighs> Sales are getting tough because obviously now we've closed bullish four times, well, three times off that support on the 50 minute. And it looks like we're continuing bullish. So it is going to be a little bit tough to take that position right now. So I think if we do break above the previous 15s wick, I'm, I'm not going to be interested in the sales anymore. For right now, at least. Yeah, I know. Yeah, it's a tough, just... tough situation. We'll definitely just be fighting the the previous the hour candle and just you know forcing a soul. So I definitely think it's better just to just to say you know cool market's ranging. Uh, there's not much volume right now. Let's rather wait, give it a couple hours to settle down, give a clear direction, and then we can reassess coming into pre New York. Um, and just to anybody that is obviously new to trading or struggling with trading, w there's obviously buys and sells, but one of the positions that you really, really need to focus on in the new year, in the new year is just saying, you know, it's, there's nothing I can do about price right now. There's no point in me fighting it, moving on to a different pair, doing this, doing that. All I'm going to do is walk away and come back a bit later, if not tomorrow. You know, I've got personally... I'm pretty sure Con can can agree with this, but we've gone days and sometimes even weeks without taking trades. So it's very important just to understand that the one thing that you can never get back if you're stupid is your capital. So rather protect it, rather safeguard it. Don't disrespect your capital just by jumping in rubbish trades or trades you haven't planned in. You know, it's very. It's I would really recommend just walking away. And coming back either later in a new session or the next day and reassessing and then taking the trade from there or taking a position from there once you see something that sets up yeah that's that's solid no trade is sometimes or a lot 
a lot of the time the best trade in fact it's probably one of my it's one of my favorite trades not taking a trade yeah they definitely uh, i'm human i want to be taking a trade i would love to execute on every opportunity every little move but i know i know that is not that is not going to lead me to success rather having the discipline to stay out of low quality trades you know that's what's going to determine my success and i think this whole week on stream we've been in what three positions yeah three in a whole week so you know we easily can was it moved more than that we could go for 10 20 30 trades maybe made more profit but the thing is in the long run that's just going to bite you you're going to pay so much in commissions you're going to be so emotionally exhausted you and I look forward, you're not going to look forward to trading next week because you're like, yes, you know, do I have to go through that stress again? Do I have to worry about drawdown? You know, this is just, yeah, you know, it's not lacquer. So even though you're going into the new week with more money, your emotional is 10 steps behind. So just knowing which battles to fight is definitely going to help you in the long run of trading. And right now, there just isn't a position, even though it looks like it's going bullish, to the next resistance just isn't enough for us. So... Hey, just wanted to say i don't see what you're talking about jared i don't see anything here bro <laughs> yeah. there's yes, nothing on my chart just a yeah. just a mess that drawing is the same as your coding eh? <laughs> hey don't lie i made a nice little <laughs> indicator this morning yeah <laughs> even yeah, uncle yeah, ted yeah. talks about it all the time EYES, yeah. bro. Just solid. i think also i'm not too sure what the guy's name is but um raja or something like that guy that works at the banks he he speaks about your indicator a lot Ratchet Ro banks Raj or roger yeah or something roger like that. i don't know something like that yeah and and don vu i think also he chats about it quite a bit oh yeah dono young... donovo yes the young guy dono, donovo. new york yeah oh, i've seen him speak about your indicator multiple times <laughs> Yeah, people probably think what the <laughs> No. Are you going to wait for the 30 or are you going to call it a day? I don't see anything here on gold. GJ. Yeah, we're coming back into the range here. Yeah, I think I'm going to call it a day. No, I think that's going to be wise. Oh, yeah, I'll check you for New York then, eh? Okay, lacquer. Yeah, I mean... Look, guys, it's it's NFP Friday. Coming into London session, yeah. Look at this. All right, as traders, how do we make money? Someone in the chat answer. I'm serious, right now. As traders, how do we make money? I want to see. I want to see if chat listens to me. <laughs> Fuck off, Jared. <laughs> <laughs> somebody as traders we make money when price is moving okay when it's moving in one direction so if we take a bar what are we expecting price to do someone answer that at least otherwise you're all retards <laughs> Yeah, when the market moves exactly so what is it doing now it's not moving it's moving sideways so as a trader this is um these are not optimal conditions to be trading in we need price to actually be moving either up or down unfortunately right now it's moving sideways same for gold sideways <clears throat> uh, so yeah that's gonna be it not gonna not gonna force anything yeah, obviously gonna call it a day thanks for joining gents take it easy um nfp later on we'll maybe send a breakdown to the discord 
don't know if you guys would would like that or appreciate that but anyway uh, i think nft can just give clear guidance which way we're going and then catch a trade off of that after after the release yeah we definitely if there's no clear direction going into nft we're going to stay away but maybe it's going to line us up for the rest of jan to see which direction we'd like to be trading yeah constipated yeah the markets are constipated right now it's about to take a massive shit off the nft <laughs> 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 That's one way to look at it. <laughs> Fuck. But that was good, yo. Okay. Yeah. Cheers, guys. Have a great weekend. I'll check Cheers. you on Monday. Ciao. Cheers, everyone. Good. Take care.